Hey there, small group leaders. And before we get into this third and final lesson in this series, I wanna show you where you can find additional training topics just for small group leaders. If you head over to PursueGod.org and navigate to the training category, and then choose that small group training series, that's the one that we're going through right now, you'll notice down below in the lesson tabs that there's one final tab called hashtag small groups. And that's where you can find all kinds of topics just for your continuing education as a small group leader. We recognize that there might be some more topics you wanna to cover in your training before you launch a small group. And you also might wanna cover additional topics even while you are actively leading your small group. So all of this on this page is for ongoing small group leader training. Now, before we jump off of this page, I wanna show you in the series menu how to find a series that's really important to the lesson that we're covering today. It's called The Pursuit, and you'll find it right there. You'll notice that this is a 12-week series that covers some of the most important topics you could ever cover with a small group or with somebody one-on-one. -on -one. Now, I wanted to show you that because we'll be referring to that series called The Pursuit as we finish up our small group training series today. We are in lesson three, and it's titled, How to Make Disciple Makers in Your Small Group. This is really what the Pursue God resources are all about. It's about making disciple makers through your small group. That's why we wanted to finish with this all important lesson. And we're gonna show you two things here. First of all, the picture, what exactly is a disciple? And then secondly, the process. How do you make disciples using the tools at PursueGod.org? And the picture is what we call a full circle follower of Jesus. It's someone who trusts Jesus, who honors God, and then eventually who makes disciples who also learn to trust Jesus and honor God and make disciples. That's why the picture is a circle. Now take a good look at this image because this is what you're trying to produce out of everyone who comes to your small group. Some people who show up to your small group will already be Christians. They've already trusted Jesus for salvation. That's great. There might be others who haven't even yet trusted Jesus for salvation. So your first goal with those people over time is to help them to trust Jesus for salvation. Now, those that have already put their faith in Christ might need some help with that second thing. Maybe they need to learn how to honor God in their lives. And you're going to help them to do that through the course of your small group. But that last thing is the trickiest for most Christians. My guess is that most people who show up to your small group have never made a disciple before. And as a small group leader, you can help them do just that. That of course leads to the process for making disciples. We call it the three E process. First, you engage them by covering topics and series. And think about it, you'll be doing that over time in your small group, you're gonna be engaging people by covering topics and series with them. At some point then, you'll wanna establish them in the faith, and that's where you're gonna complete the pursuit, that 12-week series that I showed you earlier in this video. That's where they will learn about trusting Jesus. They'll learn about sin and Jesus and salvation. They'll learn about honoring God, and they'll even learn about making disciples. Now, once you've completed the pursuit with those people, the final phase is to empower them. And that's where you help them connect with someone else that they can start discipling. And this is where your small group comes in because chances are good that you can connect someone in your small group that needs a disciple maker with someone that you've already trained to make disciples. Now, I know this is a lot of information, but let me say a couple more things about it. First of all, in your small group, you might do this as an entire small group. Maybe you'll engage the whole small group for a few weeks, covering a few topics that are interesting to them, but then eventually you'll take the entire small group through the pursuit. You'll establish the whole small group in the faith, and when you're done with that, you'll be ready to empower a whole group of people. But more than likely, you'll wanna just choose a few people from your small group to establish in the faith and to bring through the pursuit and essentially to empower, to be co-leaders with you, sort of assistance with you in the small group. I want you to think about this in Jesus's story. 
What did he do when he came to the earth and started his earthly ministry? He handpicked a few people, a dozen guys, and he invested in them, right? He engaged them. He walked with them. He talked with them. He established them in the faith. And then he empowered them to go and make disciples. Essentially, that's what you'll be doing in your small group as well. Look, your small group can be great. You guys can go through so many topics and series and have a great time connecting with one another. But if you're not making disciples who make disciples in your small group, then you're not being obedient to the Great Commission. Jesus said in Matthew 28, Therefore, go and make disciples of all the nations, baptizing them, and then teaching them to obey all that I've commanded you. Essentially, that's a charge to us as small group leaders. So my challenge to you, even as you get ready to launch your small group or jump into another season with your small group, is find a few, engage them with some topics on PursueGod.org, then establish them, take them through the pursuit, maybe outside of group time if you're just doing it with a few, and then bring those few back into the group and connect them, empower them by connecting them to people in the group that they can go one-on-one with and they can begin to disciple. And when you do this, I think your small group can change the world. Now again, find more training topics just for small group leaders on that series page at PursueGod.org.